Okay, so here's a fun one. So we're going through this cooler. We got nothing. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see if we got power coming up. We got good three phase coming up. Two oh nine. Two oh nine. Two oh nine. We got good power coming in. Nine into the contactor, two oh nine into the contactor. Two oh nine out. This is wired really funny. Two oh nine out. Two oh nine out. So I got power coming in and out of the contactor. Super strangely controlled by the defrost clock. The defrost clock is interrupting energizing that contactor but we don't even have a fan like if you were out on low pressure you should still have a fan spinning i gotta open this guy up all right so this is your low pressure control zero so that's closed and your high pressure control 209 so we're off on high pressure even though obviously we're uh, not off on high pressure. I don't see that this is a manual reset. All right, let's verify this is running. Yeah, this is running here to the high pressure probe. All right, I'm gonna go grab my gauges. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not gonna jump the high pressure sensor until I get gauges on this. So I'm gonna bring my gauges up. I'm gonna jump out the high pressure switch, see if it comes on. And then if it does, I've got room to add. Oh, look at that, it's leaking like crazy right there. Um, I've got room to add a high pressure switch right there. So we will go with that. So I know this was bad and I haven't done anything yet. I powered it off, I tested voltage, we've got none. I put them both on the same terminal. So now you don't even have a high cutout. But I hooked up and I'm, I mean, there's nothing in this system. So it's off incorrectly for sure. So now when we power this on, we got fan, no compressor. That's bad news. Maybe uh, it's on a delay. It's on a compressor time delay. Stand by. I'm trying to stay out of the airflow, but uh, 208. 208. 208. That compressor's getting its voltage, it won't run. checking for ohms everything's so well no 
continuity. No ohms. Welcome to the party. Uh, the invitation is failed compressor on a beer walk-in at a convenience store. They brought two condensing units. I was here doing a PM. That unit uh, is short on gas, R22. I was going to leave it because it's all rusted out and I was worried if I monkeyed with it, it was going to crash. And then this unit had never kicked on. So we came over here to check it. The, uh, the high limit was jumped or was junk. It wouldn't run even though I had 100 PSI in here. It was severed. So we knew we had a bad high limit. But worse yet, uh, three phase, 208, every which way. Wouldn't start. Wasn't hot, wasn't off on thermal, no continuity, no ohms. Bad compressor. So, here we go. Uh, we are torching out at the moment. I've got uh, my helper running to grab me this dryer and this dryer. I have the compressor. So, I'm going to get this cut out and the new compressor set in place. I mean, hopefully this is uneventful. It's uh, it's a 422, right? So this is uh, the new compressor is a 422 system. So an R22 replacement. We ought to, if it were things were different, we would just be replacing this whole unit. It's very old. It's ready, but it runs two sets of evaporators downstairs, two three banks. So you've got a triple evaporator times two. So the cost of replacing this and the two triple evaporators on top of it's just down right now. So you got a convenience store with uh, not cold beer. Atrocity. Let's uh, make it happen. Before for you cut out a compressor, and I did this, just make sure it's right. Right? Before you go through the headache of moving this out, I look and line them up before and say, yeah, this is correct. I mean, I know the number was right, but you just never know. So, uh, so we're going to replace the sight glass as well because it's all cloudy. Like, you just can't see anything. It's weird. Well, I guess that's one way to stop a leaking Schrader cap. Just torch it on. Okay. Torched on trigger cap. Alright. I'm having struggle times, guys. Not that it's not working out, it just seems like everything's fighting. So, why wouldn't you replace that? Because I don't have it. It is what it is. Um, got it all. <laughs> suction line all torched in. New suction line dryer. I've got this dry fitted. Haven't torched it yet, but that's what's coming. This just seems like moving in slow motion. Like I said, it's working. It's ugly. That torch is ugly. That torch is definitely ugly. The larger pipes are getting me. But it's sealed up well. All right. I told you. I told you. Everything is fighting. My sight glass turned on me. So now it's going to be stupid to look at it. Because I had it with wet rag and then a physical rag around it. Did this first. I have the ugliest torches on the side glass. You know, the place everybody looks when they come. All right, one more to do here. I purposely saved this one for last. Uh, and then we'll get all the Schraders put in. Nitro it up. Uh, I told you. Like the easiest one. Like the one right here in the front that I had no excuse. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, no worries. That's why we leak the test. It appears to be the only one. So, easy enough. This is Hurricane Joe. This is what happens when nothing's working right. I just make a freaking mess. Alright. Leaks handled. I soap bubbled everything. Uh, just, you know, I've got the power maker, but this 
freaking disconnect doesn't give me anywhere to connect so I actually had to connect in there uh, which is fine because I mean I've got 208 I switched that to 208 so we're rocking so while this is running I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up my trash taking my torches down taking my nitro down getting everything headed towards the promised land of the heck out of here um, high limit switch was dead this is one of those things that you know even when we're done with this is it gonna run right like I know I had a bad compressor I'm not I'm not doubting that I'm just par for the day you know uh, this morning was very hard to get going then once we got going we were rolling and then we ran into this and my tomorrow and Wednesday are already booked so it was like, when can we get this done? Like, it's now or never. So, ay, ay, ay. Sorry, I have to complain so much today, guys, but I appreciate the heck out of you. Pull in a vacuum for a while. Let's get cleaned up. I know you've been eyeing this. It's not time yet. So, I'm gonna do a new bag video. This bag is awesome, but no, not yet. I want to be able to, I've been using it for like two weeks uh, and I wanted to be able to speak intelligently about what I do and don't like about it after using it, so. All right, looking back at my old invoice, say, uh, by the way, 422, right? R22 replacement. So this is the unit that uh, I gassed up a year and a half ago because it was leaking real bad. Found the leak, uh, pulled the vacuum, and weighed in 9.75 pounds. So, that's what we're gonna go with. Probably put seven or eight pounds in it. And then fire it up, let it run. Ay, ay, ay. buddies does these two condensers or these two evaporators oh we're frosty now Down a little bit. 
Yeah. Yeah, frosting up. Beautiful. Yes, sir. I'll put 30 degree air. We got us a beer cooler again. <laughs> 